So people, this is Su again. Today I'd like to talk about this very popular 3x um, CNC machine step motor driver board that I got two months ago from a professor. I mean to um, build a draw bolt that's uh, relatively more powerful than my professor gave me just such a kind of thing. And it's another piece of board from China, my motherland, and uh, relatively good quality when you can find it about 30 euro or 100 euro in eBay. And there is actually not much about it. But this version is a very small tip build here. There's another um, STC mark, um, STC microcontroller that gives you the ability to use a small display and a keyboard to control the the, the machines that connect to this board. Mm, this board can drive. Um, up to 3.5 ampere, ampere uh, current step motor and this motor can be two phase or four phase and the input can be 12 to 36 I think and that's about it um, there is two small chips one of them is a L7812CV. It's a regulator for 12 volt. And another one is LM2576T. This is a 5 volt uh, voltage regulator. They're uh, actually they are the hottest part of this totally board. And here is actually a LPT port and DB9 port that support you to connect your e-stop, emergency stop, stop and some uh, limit switch for your application. And there is something that also interesting maybe the um, deep switch and they are can be used to setting your step resolution one step half step four step until to 16 step and the output um, performance i mean how much powerful for your um, motor and that's pretty much about it and there is a relay here I, I, I really do not get the, the total idea uh, what kind of um, work will he control I think this is for spindle and yeah that's pretty much about it um, as you expected the next step is to connect uh, this board to your computer and I just use a very popular one, Mach 3, I think, uh, named. And I just want to show the very basic um, step to let this board run with the computer. Because our board used a very old LPT port. The best way to use this board and the easiest way is to find a PC that have this port so I I just uh, find a very old PC in uh, and trash can uh, and actually there uh, is a Dell workstation I think to to connect this board to the PC I think everyone know how to insert a a cable on the port so I just not uh, record it 
and perhaps something that should be take care of is for example the best way is to rotate these two part and let the connection to be very fast and for my board this display should be insert here and the keyboard should be insert here and the color of the motor's wire is not is not the same for each different motor so this color will be helped if you cannot get your motor correctly worked and here is the the power source and you cannot go wrong because there is something that labeled on here and that's pretty much about it let's turn on the power and give it a try shall we after I plug in the power this smaller fan start working very nicely and there are two LED light on and at the same time our small display worked and our keypad have a LED lighted on and uh, worked pretty well the next step before I use Mach 3 I'd like to show you this very nice build professional edition uh, function and that's somehow how to use this keypad to control each of the motor that I think there is probably the most useful function for these two part and since this motor I connect to the and the X port of the board this is the Y port this is the Z port so on theory if I push the X button either of them this should be rotate and the Y respectively this rotate and Z this rotate and I'd like to show you the X yeah that's worked and here show the position of it and now is the Y and yeah it's worked and the Z for Z is small yeah constantly when I press the button Because the horsepower of my old PC cannot l let me use the software and the video record software at the same time, so I had to record it with my phone. So the quality may be bad, but I guarantee that is the best I can do. And and now we are in this. Mach 3 and it's a demo version mm. so there's something that's really complicated at the first glance and I guarantee I will show you just what you need but not the other things because just as the official uh, tutorial said if you don't understand what that is don't touch it and that's pretty about it it's worked just fine and this button each time when you decided to run your software you should let this reset button deactivate it yeah somehow like this and the first time when you enter this software you'd have to really manually set 
this port and pins. Yeah, that's about it. This, this, yeah, hexadecimal number is the real number of your LPT port. I mean, that this default um, value is correct. You do not have to uh, setting them by hand. And the can speed, as the database said, the best, the the best way is to the next. I think this is thirty five thousand hertz. And if you, as me, use a demo version of Ma three, it only can be set to this this speed, and that is no problem actually to let the motor runs. And that's the really important part here. This table is setting how is the pin number of each uh, axis. And if you use the same board as me, this number is your very number. It's basically said this, this board is just a, as the same board as a Pololo small step motor drive board set a step pin and a direction pin there's no much more fantastic things actually and you should set the correct port number and just as we said we are using the port 1 the APT port so this part is always should be set to 1 and these two parts should be set to the correct number to let, let correct motor drive be driven and this part is actually somehow not that useful I mean and this part is also a very important part because this part should be always set to 1 because the first pin of this LPT port is the enable pin for all three motors. If this port is disabled, all functions can't be um, worked by motor. So make sure to set this one as port 1, pin 1, this enable 1. And that's about it. Let's give it a try. And if you want to drive your step motor by this software, you should surely load a G code. And at the very like to use this circle one because that works just very interesting. And this is your decode. This is your motor's position, actually. And this is the one that you will do. Actually, you can use your left mouse button to 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 score it, and wheel to zoom it, and the right uh, the right button to drag it. If you want to go back double click your left mouse button yeah and just as I said at the very beginning the reset button should be pressed for your application to be really executed and if you press this cycle start you can actually start your whole process and uh, that is what we are going to do and just you you said this is J O O and the Z position should be go to 10 and you can hear that our three motor worked just as we expected and have you heard the song? That's very interesting, very great.
and you can see our motor just worked as fine as we expected it's just beautiful my glücklicher Schwein Tada! Na? What the three motors actually do is mean to cut a circle uh, or a couple of, of circle that's laid on different uh, layers and that means this X and Y motor just uh, cut the circle and the Z motor is always controlling the the height of the layer and you can also track your motor's position by here it's about it's about it I mean uh, this video's purpose is actually aim to give you the very first feeling how to drive your motors by this very sm small board not very small but very powerful board and how to use the very very basic function for this software Mach 3 and hope you like it and I hope it, that's helpful if you get any kind of question, just leave me a message and I will do more video documentation about this board. For example, how to use this board to record decode or, or you can say if that's really possible to let this, this board to record decode and something else. Hope you like it. Hope you find that is useful and this thing should be work for a while.